Hey, welcome to an episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Jay's joining me. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is a beer. Uh, it's funny. This is our second review in a row where we're drinking a beer that was sent to me from Ryan, better known as Stumpy Joe Jr. Uh, this is another beer from San Diego, the Ballast Point uh, Imperial Porter Victory at Sea. Coffee Vanilla Imperial Porter with natural flavors. I hate when they say that, just natural. Uh, it's a very long description on here, so I'm not going to read it. But uh, it's pretty big at 10% ABV. But I mean, you know, coffee, vanilla. And we just had a nice steak dinner. Yeah. So hopefully this will be a nice kind of rich dessert. So... I don't know. Ready? I'm ready. Yep. <laughs> All right, we are back. Um, no surprises here. Jet black beer. I it's that's very funny as I got more head than Jay did. Yeah, I poured it a little bit slower than you did. Yeah. I did notice that when I poured it, it was more on the brown color, but when yeah. it got into the glass and collected, it really turned into a more much darker black color. Yeah, it's yeah, it's pretty. Pretty dark khaki. It looks like a creamy froth, you know. Yeah, I did get a little bit less head, but it is similar in style and color. What I did get compared to you, just that frothiness. Yeah, it smells pretty good. Yeah, you can really smell that. <laughs> you smell the coffee. Kind it, of like Joe Mama's milk smell. Yeah, I, and I get, I get the vanilla that they talk about in the nose as well. Yeah, it's a really sweet. I don't smell any alcohol, which is you know it's ten percent. It kind of reminds. Would be. It, it doesn't smell like alcohol, but it does kind of remind me of like, like a, uh, like an oak cabinet or something. Like yeah, a, a little bit of like woody vanilla qualities. Yeah. You get like in barrel aged beers, maybe, not as rustic though. Yeah, and maybe even like a hint of like grape, like uh, wine or something as well. Mm. Yeah, a little touch of like red grape or like kind of like black licorice. Yeah. Certainly smells good. Yeah. Ready to try? Sure. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's just like all well it's not all coffee, but it's no. It's a lot of coffee, especially on the second half. Actually I take a second sip because that first sip, um, I was getting so many different characteristics. I want to try to separate that. Uh, the first characteristic I got was a heavy dose of like molasses um, or like brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Then it followed up with a really nice sweet vanilla like flavor and a very nice velvety smooth uh, kind of transition from the front of the tongue to the back of the tongue, followed by a touch of bitterness. I actually wasn't overwhelmed by coffee on that initial sip. But I did taste a sweet coffee that kind of lingered in the palate afterwards. Oh, yeah. I got, like, the whole first half is this kind of dry, sandy bitterness. Like, it's, like, coffee bitterness. Yeah. The second half is when you get all the sweetness. And then it's that laundry list of sweeteners, like you just said, like, molasses, uh, brown sugar. I definitely get a lot of coffee flavor in here too. It's almost it's like a you know Dunkin' Donuts like iced coffee. Um, it's a, and then I get like this kind of rum, like woody kind of quality, almost like a you know how many barrel aged stouts have we done? But like it's similar to that, almost like like a the Browns whiskey barrel porter. Yeah, um, I definitely I took a second sip while you were just doing a description, and then that second sip I got hit right in the face with coffee. So I didn't get that at first, but I just took a second sip and I was like, holy cow, there's the coffee. Yeah, now I'm getting a lot of coffee. And actually, the, now the coffee is starting to take, uh, you know, second fiddle to, uh, like, the vanilla. Yeah, yeah. But even with that, it's so soft on my tongue and palate. It's like swallowing a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are back finishing up the Victory at Sea Imperial Porter. Why don't you go first? I always go first. Okay. <laughs> While we were enjoying this and taking our time, which is really nice, uh, you made a comment and you said it kind of reminded you of the Southern Tier Chocolate. Even yeah. though it's a coffee porter with vanilla mm -hmm. and the chocolate is a chocolate bar, I actually 100% agree with you. The more I drank it, the less the coffee was noticeable and the more the vanilla came out. And because of that combination, almost made it taste kind of chocolatey. Yeah, how, how, I, I definitely get chocolate in those. Yeah, however, it was not quite as... In, like the chocolate by Southern Tier is really rich, really syrupy. At least yeah. the last time I had it, I didn't have this past year's bottle. Yeah, um, 
this is a little bit light, mm -hmm. and it's even a little light in the mouth as well. But there also is still a velvety smooth texture that you pull from it, a wonderfully sweet flavor combined with a nice bitterness that kind of just sits in the back of the tongue but doesn't linger. Yeah. And overall, I have to say, I was very, very pleased. But I would hardly call it the best beer ever. More importantly, right. we were talking about porters, and I was we were comparing the Founders Porter, which is just a traditional porter, to this. And I kind of was thinking I'd like the Founders Porter a little better, mm -hmm. mainly because that the Founders Porter is so thick and almost chewy, and this wasn't quite like that. But I really would like to do a side-by-side -side to yeah. see which one I like better. Nevertheless, I loved it. What about you? So it's your rating, top notch. We'll hold off till I do a final <laughs> jug. Um, yeah, pretty much in agreement with Jay. I mean, the first few sips on this, I was having like parabola flashbacks. <laughs> you know, I was like, wow, that's really impressive. It just it tastes so good, and there's it's a pretty complex beer, um, while still maintaining the qualities of a porter because it has like that thinner. Uh, Less, not, not so much like roastiness, like you get like in a stout. Um, I would say it, vast majority of our viewers won't know this, but Brown's Whiskey Rail Porter, which has that kind of oaky vanilla kind of flavor to it, very, very similar to this, or I guess is similar to that. So I definitely did pull like a rum kind of taste out of here, even though it's not, as far as I know, oak aged. But um, yeah, so like that vanilla. I mean, it just started out like, it started out like an iced coffee, and then it started to get more vanilla, and then it started to turn chocolate. And as far as I know, there's not chocolate in it, but I am, like Jake said, getting a lot of similar qualities like a Southern Tier chocolate. It's like a, it's like milk chocolate and dark chocolate, you know. <laughs> there is, there's a little bit of bitterness on the back end, but it, the hops do not linger. The, the roasty malts or whatever, the toasty malts don't linger. It's actually, and that's actually kind of disappointing is that there's, the aftertaste is so mild, but uh, you know, while, while it's in the mouth, it's really, really delicious. And as a dessert beer, um, great dessert beer. I, I would probably I live in San Diego, and this was reasonably priced. I would buy this quite often. Yeah, I agree. If the price was right, this would be in the fridge all the time. Yeah, I don't know how much this costs, so but thanks Ryan for sending it. Um, yeah, I mean. It, this is definitely getting my highest rating, 10 out of 10. Um, it, that was the best Imperial Porter I've had. Yeah. I wouldn't rank it up there with a Parabola or KBS, but it's, it's almost sort of there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like at the edge. Well, yeah. uh, let's do, a, I'm going to do a final chug. All right. You're do it with me, and then I'm going to actually give, give review what I'm going to give it. So okay. there you go. As far as final thoughts and great for myself, um, there's nothing that's going to stop this from calling it a top-notch beer. Yeah. Whether we disagree on where we place it, we both agree that it is a phenomenal beer nevertheless. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about phenomenal. I mean, it's it's definitely an excellent, outstanding beer. Yeah. You know, it's I would call it like an A instead of an A+. Plus. It's fair. We're kind of rambling here. So <laughs> that does it for this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. And Jay's Beer Reviews. So And thanks to Ryan again for the beer. And we'll see you next time. I have anything left to cheers you with. So. Bye. Bye. <laughs>